Hello viewers, today we are going to have a short discussion on value stream and value stream mapping. In recent years, the concept of value stream mapping has become increasingly popular. It is a useful element in the toolbox of business architects. In order to build a strong foundation of this concept in your mind, I will start my discussion with the definition of two common terms, value and waste. What is value? Value can be defined as anything the customer is willing to pay for. What is waste? Any process that does not add value is a waste. You can also say that waste is something which is not important to your customer and they are not willing to pay for it. Wait, I have a question here. What about quality check? Is it a waste or is it value addition process? You can say it is an intangible process which is adding value to the product. If you will remove this process, then customer will face quality issues and can get disappointed and stop buying your product. Now let's move on to our actual topic, value stream and value stream mapping. What is value stream? A value stream describes how an enterprise organizes its activities to create value. It can be controlled by a single business or by a network of businesses. We all know that every company has a set of steps or processes like creating, manufacturing and delivering in order to sell the product or service to the end customer. All these steps or processes are known as value stream. In other words, value stream is a series of steps that occur to provide the product or service that your customers want or need. What is value stream mapping? VSM. In simple layman terms, value stream mapping is simply sketching processes on a piece of paper like a simple drawing with chunks of information in a flowchart format. Value stream mapping is a lean manufacturing or lean enterprise technique used to document, analyze and improve the flow of material or information required to produ produce a product or service for a customer. It starts with the customer and ends at the supplier. It allows you to visualize every task that your team works on and provide single glance status reports about each assignment's progress. Value stream mapping begins with a one-page visual concept picture of the current as-is process and ends with a future to-be state that is used to identify supply chain process improvement opportunities. Value stream mapping is a team effort. It should involve representatives from all of the areas within the process being mapped. Why do we do value stream mapping? What are the benefits of value stream mapping? I would like to repeat the definition here and then connect it to the use of value stream mapping. Value stream mapping allows you to visualize, analyze and improve all the steps in a product delivery process from supplier to a customer. It demonstrates the current process and flow as well as the value added and non-value added time of all the processes. The idea of visualization is to reduce the waste by identifying the bottlenecks in a process decrease flow time and optimize the process flow. Value stream mapping provides us with a structured visualization of the key steps and corresponding data needed to understand and intelligently make improvements that optimize the entire process, not just one section at the expense of another. The value stream mapping enables the team and leadership to see where the actual value is being added in the process allowing them to improve on the overall efficiency associated with the delivery of a product or feature request, not just the number of steps. Value stream mapping highlights the current workflow and brings the focus on future improvement. Elimination of non-value process activities results in reduced costs and improved velocity and visibility. It facilitates clear communication and collaboration it encourages continuous improvement of a process. It enables cultural change within an organization. It creates visualizations of delays, excess inventory and production constraint. An example of a supply chain value stream activity that can be eliminated is paying the supplier's invoice 
via check when it can be replaced by an electronic funds transfer. Conclusion Value stream mapping can be used by lean practitioners to anticipate or face any competitive threat and produce the highest value for customers in the most efficient manner possible. It should be used continuously for continuous improvement. Value stream mapping allows you not only to see the waste but also the source and cause. Viewers, if you find value in this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell icon. Thank you.